Today, folks, we're back using Ribbon.ai's new service, Interview. Now, this tool allows recruiters and job seekers to use an AI bot to train or to go through interview processes. So on the job recruiting side, I could post a job with its descriptions and questions to ask, and it'll automate the interview process to where I could filter out the candidates and then proceed further with the actual interviews after they pass that round or see their analysis and maybe tweak some things and maybe resubmit the interview again. Who knows? But for the job seeker portion, it's great for training yourself into actual preparation when it comes to interviews for jobs that you're looking for. Give a sense to what you may be getting when it comes to interviews. It's good prep. It's a good practice, if you will. So today I'm going to pretend to be a recruiter and we are going to create an interview. So let's create an interview. Could use some AI magic uh, job description. We'll say IT support engineer. Sound a little fancy. And let me capitalize the T and IT support. And it looks like it's going pretty quickly. Yep, IT support engineer. Uh, now nah, let's leave a blank for. Uh, Let's say ABC Tech Inc. And yeah, here are some sample questions, experience, troubleshooting hardware issues, describe when you had a difficult technical problem, prioritizing tasks. Yeah, let's do it. And then let's sound the voice. Hi, I'm from Ribbon calling about your AI powered interview. How are you doing? Cool. I like that, I like Kate. You got a few other ones. I can even require video if I wanted to. But my video is currently being used, but that's okay. Hi, I'm from Ribbon Calling about your AI powered interview. How are you doing? Hi, I'm from Ribbon Calling about your AI powered interview. How Hi, I'm from Ribbon Calling about your AI. Hi, I'm from Ribbon Calling about your AI powered interview. How are you doing? Hi, I'm from Ribbon Calling about your AI powered interview. Hi, I'm from Ribbon, so calling okay. about your AI. And then I just simply click create interview and boom, there we go. Then I submit the link uh, to the candidate or I can make an email template here and uh, send it via my email. Uh, yeah, we'll click done. And yeah, I will make myself look a little bit presentable and get ready for the interview. Hi, I am from ABC Tech Inc. Calling about your AI powered interview. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I appreciate you taking the time to chat today. Let's dive in. Thanks for your interest in the IT support position with us. I'll spend the next 15 minutes getting to know you and answering any questions you might have. Do you have any questions about how this interview will go? No, I think you explained it pretty well. Thank you. Awesome. Let's get started then. First, how would you approach a user with basic questions? Understanding where they're coming from, their and their issues as far as how that came to be and working backwards as far as how we're going to resolve it and reassure that the issue doesn't come back up again. That's a solid approach. Starting with understanding their perspective and working backward is key. How do you typically handle situations where the same issue keeps coming up repeatedly? Usually that comes more of an educational piece to where I find out from the user how many times has this happened before and try to isolate if it's particularly an issue that they kind of go through themselves or if it's maybe something with the software that we try updating or reinstalling. But sometimes it's more of the educational piece to let them know like these are the ways that uh, this will be approached. That makes sense. Educating the user while troubleshooting is a great way to prevent recurring issues. Now, how do you handle situations where a user is upset or frustrated? Understanding where they're coming from and understanding that, you know, it, it can be very frustrating having things not work out where they're supposed to be and intended to work. So just really coming from the standpoint of like you know, aligning with them and understanding where their frustration is coming from and working with them together on that issue. That's a great mindset. Empathy goes a long way in calming someone down. It sounds like you're really good at putting yourself in their shoes. Before we wrap up, do you have any questions for me about the company or the role? Um, 
I mean, what, what role or what things are you looking for when it comes to this role? Like what things can help me or the job applicant for this really stand out or what things that the ABC tech is really looking for? Great question. While I don't have the exact job description in front of me, companies like ABC Tech typically value strong problem-solving skills, excellent communication, and the ability to stay calm under pressure, especially in IT support roles. Showing that you can balance technical expertise with a customer-focused approach is key. Does that help? Or is there something more specific you'd like to know? No, that helps. I really appreciate it. Um, next question I'll have is just when are the next steps? When should I hear back from you? Glad I could help. You should hear back from us via email in the next few days regarding the next steps in the hiring process. It was great speaking with you today. Anything else on your mind before we wrap up? No, that was it. I really appreciate it, Alex. Thank you so much. It was great speaking with you today. Have a wonderful day. That is so cool. So now I am in Job Seeker where I see my interview and I see the review for ABC Tech. And right here through my three minutes, 16 second interview, there's some segments here that I can look at where I'm talking, the AI interviews talking, and there's some silence in between. And I can see, <clears throat> excuse me, I can even see where there were some pauses for roughly a minute or two. So really really sorry i need to mute my phone really interesting stuff i can even see the transcript hi i am from abc tech inc calling about your ai powered interview how are you doing it's pretty roboticy but i mean like same time it's still good as far as like the interview went or how it performed i mean the way how the in AI interviewer was responding back to me right away, like pretty quickly after just a few seconds of my uh, prompts or my responses. Very fluid. It even knew the overarching theme of what uh, my answers were. Like I was saying, aligning with the customer, aligning with the user, understanding where they're coming from. And the AI interviewer was like, oh yeah, empathy. That totally makes sense. It makes a little, yeah. I, th I think that's really cool. Why did I score three? Oh, that's what the bot gave me? The bot gave me three out of five? Dang. Seriously? Ah, whatever. Wow, that was so cool. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, your AI interview wrapped. Three minutes. That was the most common word. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a Spotify rap type deal. Your longest answer in seconds was 20 seconds, 276 words spoken. I spoke 41% of the time. Yeah, that's my spotlight answer. I emphasize with users to understand their frustrations. That's so cool. And I can even share that. Uh, unlock your interview feedback. Invite friends. Oh, I can. Un okay, so if I share it to my friends, then I can unlock the interview itself. Interesting. Let me go back to recruiter mode. Now it sees my interview. I'm going to go to here. I can click on me. And then what else does it talk about? Yeah, it even gives me my background, knows all the information that I've done, has my resume, my top skills. It even gives me follow-up questions for the person that I'm trying to interview with, like for the next round or anything else. Uh, let's look at the scorecard. Overall, three out of five. Enthusiasm and motivation, three out of five. Skills and experience, three out of five. Communication, four out of five. Comprehension, four out of five. Sorry, I'm speaking a little fast too. I'm just a little excited that this is really cool. And again, I'm not sponsored by Ribbon, but they work with me a lot and I like working with them as far as finding out new tools for people in the job market or just, you know, helping to elevate yourself. I find these tools and features so great and it's really cool to have something like this to where you could test out your skills and train, not to cheat the system, but just to better enhance where you're coming from and to have a better experience when it comes to interviews. It's almost like a test. You're not a great test test if you're not really a great test taker, then practice. And this is practice. 
questions. Yeah, my questions are here. Okay, I got an okay. And look, I got a good on this one. Yeah, compare responses. I can even compare with others. Yeah, it really compares the interview questions with my responses. So cool. Oh, can I? Oh, I chose not to hire. I want to do strong hire. Ha. Huh. Awesome. This is so cool. Alrighty. Yeah. And so that was today's video just on Ribbon.ai's new tool on interviews. So now recruiters can use this tool. Um, I can link it down in my description as far as recruiters or companies that you find that have this tool out there. You can have AI bots to do the interview for you if you're not such a great interviewer. Just weed out the people that you are wanting to hire and have the understanding going from there. As a job seeker, it's really cool. It allows you to have some practice when it comes to applying for jobs to better enhance your skills as far as like what to ask, what to say, anything really. I think it's a really cool feature. I'm really happy that Ribbon added this and I'm really excited to see what's more coming from this. I do, this is the future, people. We are seeing more AI tools out there and now you're able to enhance your skills along with employers saving themselves time as far as going through first rounds or even helping them generate questions. If they want to do the interviews, their employers, they can go on here, use this tool to help generate questions based on the job description or even what the skill sets of these people that are trying to hire. Really cool stuff. So yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below what you guys think about the new tool on Ribbon.ai and subscribe for more. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers this year. I want to hit that goal and I really appreciate everyone that's here with me on this journey so far. But yeah, until then, see ya.